Yeah, 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 Arceus, yeah, yeah. They did do that really, uh, really well. It, it just gives you this sense of wonderment, like, ooh, I want to go over there, what's that, you know? Yeah, very good job with that, 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 that draw to the player, you know? Go, <laughs> it goes over there nice. and then the, of course as a kid the first thing you want to do when that happens is get stronger so that you can go over there and not die wow this is a really long encounter really really there we go I could go fight harder things but I wanted to get to 100 experience because I'm pretty sure that's level 5 it is not level 5 say though that they're actually pretty nice with the amount of MP that you get. I got 10 MP and a level up, so uh that's pretty cool. After this level up, which my exploration pretty much got me, I'm going to go rest. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to go into that cave and see what I can find. Actually, I should probably heal, just in case I get a magician again. You only heal for like 10 or 15 anyway, it seems like. Cute chat! Oh, yeah, yeah! Cute chat attacks! Cute chat uses oh, yeah, yeah. It's super effective. Oh, baby, critical hit! There's my level 110. <coughs> Power? Ho 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 baby! Five power! Four HP, four MP, five power. Oh my god. That, that is... Yeah, I almost doubled my power there. Wow. Five power. Nice. Nice! I want to fight something really quick before I, before I... I want to see how much I hit for. I had seven power. That's including my weapon. Come on, let me fight something. I want to see how much damage I do now. I was doing like three. Dragon Warrior 2 is not good to suffer from second game syndrome, where they thought they needed to change things up a bunch for a sequel, and largely their choices in doing that made things stupidly obtuse and cryptic. Seven damage. Nice. Very good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just like FF2, though, right? You know, it's just like they tried to do stuff and because of the success of their game, and they just totally swung and miss. Well, we will be playing it, Darth Yoshi. We will be playing it, man. Just, you know, it won't be right after DQ1, probably. It's not like I'm, I'm doing a DQ Fiesta here or anything. If that were the case, I'd already, already be halfway done with the game because I knew it well enough. You know? <clears throat> but yeah. We will be playing it eventually this year. The thing about the Final Fantasy Fiesta, why it works so well for us, is because we know those games so well, we can kind of break them in our own little way, and we can issue ourselves challenges that actually have a, a, a way of, you know, like we can actually prepare for those challenges and go, hmm, how am I going to handle this and, and understand the game enough to, to get past it? Whereas DQ, we don't really know the game to even issue challenges that are meaningful to us or you. And not only that, but we don't know enough to, like, execute them, you know, to, to, to best them. So, not to mention, I don't know about super bosses or post-game or anything about these games, so... Uh, DQ Fiesta would just not be the same. Ba 
but thou must. But thou must. I do remember of, of, of people talking about a famously difficult dungeon in DQ2. All right, we're pushing forward. Let's go. There is no one there, but, but. A square, I get a square, I get one square. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the one square. Oh my god. This place, I'm already lost. It's really hard to move one tile at a time, by the way. Because it, it makes you turn first. There's a stair down. Alright, bottom right for stair down. At least it seems like there's no monsters in here. That's good. That's the stair back up. Chat hast found the tablet. The tablet reads as follows. I am Edric, and thou art my descendant. Three items were needed to reach the Isle of Dragons, which is south of that balcony. South of balcony. I gathered these items, reached the island, and there defeated the creature of great evil. Now I have entrusted the three items to the three worthy keepers. Their descendants will protect the items until thy quest leads thee to seek them out. When a new evil arises, find them... Find the three items, th then fight. Oh, thank you for telling me not only what the items are or where to find them. No, just find three items. <laughs> well, I have a torch and an herb and a club. So those are three items. I'll just consider that uh, the three items of legend or destiny or whatever the hell and uh, it'd be done. Go fight the great evil now. It said broccoli. Oh, the town of broccoli. That makes more sense. Yeah. That's all that's in here? Okay. So no battles. It's over here. Okay. Um. Not sure how to take that. <laughs> No battles. That was basically that was that was the game saying here's where you go. That was the game saying here's where you go. Oh my gosh! Speak of the devil, we got the uh, the DQ master in here right now. What's up, high spirits? Thanks for the raid, dude. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, we were definitely talking a lot about you because you know you're the DQ guy and all that. I don't think we need to stay at an inn or anything. You need sleep? I'm sure you just did another, like, 50-hour stream or something. So, yeah, get some rest, man. Thanks for bringing everybody over and welcome in. I'm BGG or Background Guy or BGG or whatever. And, uh, I just got done doing a big event called the Final Fantasy Fiesta where we raced through the entire franchise of Final Fantasy. And... As I played DQ11 and DQ8 very recently and very much enjoyed them, and it's been like 30 years since I played this game, and I kind of wanted to have a little bit more experience with other DQ games that I never really got around to, so we're going to be playing a few of them coming up uh, moving forward, so these are mostly blind, basically. And right now I'm probably going to go to my death, so that'll be fun. Just working since 3 a.m. Oh, that all? Oh, okay. Yeah, get some rest, dude. Thanks for bringing everybody over. Thanks for bringing everybody over. I think the mountain tiles have a higher encounter rate. 
It wouldn't be a good idea, but it would be magical. Let's see if this is the wrong way to go. Smile. Hey, don't dodge my attacks. That's rude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirits has already done like a DQ series playthrough similar to the vein of the Final Fantasy Fiesta. He's already, he's already done that. That's that's his thing. That's what he does. Uh, his DQ stuff. I mean, he does Final Fantasy stuff too, but in variety playthroughs and whatnot. But he's a big DQ guy. Okay, why do I feel like that's a bad idea? I would lose horribly. He, he knows all of the DQ games, and I know none of them, so... <laughs> it wouldn't be a raise, it would be a slaughter. <laughs> it would be a slaughter. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea? I'll just save state! Just kidding, I'm playing on hardware. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, right here we only play on original hardware. So we're playing on an actual top loader NES modded for RGB. So that's why the picture looks so clean. Oh boy. Uh... Six. I am hurt. At least I'm not getting poisoned. Hurt only costs 2 MP, that's not bad. Okay. <sighs> wow. 6 XP, 13 gold. This definitely feels like the next step of where I'm supposed to go, but... That thing murdered me. Oh dear. I'm, uh, this is... oh boy. Oh. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely a place that I need to, like, grind, probably? But it's definitely not a place that I can, like, adventure in just yet. <laughs> like, I can definitely grind here and get much faster XP and gold, but I am not ready to fight anything here. Oh dear. And just like that, I'm out of resources. Retreat! Retreat! Yeah, we do when 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 we when we have a, like random names to be given out, we do a giveaway to the chat to like just anybody can enter and and have a chance of naming whatever we're naming. Yeah, I I am somewhat vaguely aware of that, and not like it really matters. It doesn't change anything. Um. But, like, it's not, like, a backseating because it's, like, what am I going to do? Change my name, you know? Like, I would even know what I'm going to get anyway. It's like Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy Star Online determines the loot that you have a higher chance of, of getting. Well, actually, to be more accurate, your name determines what, like, a, like, like, symbol you get. Like, the green or the red or the blue or whatever. And that determines your item drop rate. I'd also have to look up a guide on which names are better, you know? So, I mean, again, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. But yeah, I, I do, I do kind of want to play as blind as possible because it's, you know, it's, especially for a game like this, it's kind of a rite of passage to sort of do it yourself, you know? Although I will say, Spirits, I just got a level up that gave me five powers, so uh, I'm feeling pretty good about my random stat allocation. BGG would be a proper speedrun name? Really? <laughs> Damn, if only I had a dad chat name me, I could have had a proper speedrun name. <laughs> You're critiquing all of my, my mistakes in the spoiler channel? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, we have a Discord, obviously. Every streamer has one, right? Well, join mine because, you know, it's uh, got a lot of great people in there. But also because there's a channel for spoilers on any games that we're playing casually. So we have a channel for the three games that we'll be playing through this week are Dragon Quest, 
Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Tales of Berseria. So you can expect those, all three of those games this week. Tomorrow we'll be, we'll be starting Symphony of the Night. And on uh, Monday, Tuesday is Tales of Berseria. <laughs> and we have channels for all of those games if you want to if you want to backseat or talk about mechanics because I don't like to hear about it I want to experience it blind as possible you know basically your job is to point and laugh at me in the chat and I die horribly the end <laughs> what's up what's up Chef Tick? what's going on thank you for the three months dude At least you don't embarrass my, yourself in chat. Ha! Ha ha! You clearly do not know me. You got to level 99? I'm sure you did, considering it's impossible. <laughs> you ate pepper wings, pepper X wings in front of people. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've had opportunities to have, like, ghost pepper stuff and just always chickened out. Except for at RPG Limit Break a couple years ago, we, ha we went to Pi, and uh, I had the ghost pepper pizza. That was really good. But man, my butt did not care for that for the rest of the week that I was there. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, pie is too greasy. And I'm just like, it's pizza covered in cheese. Of course it's greasy and we like it like that. <laughs> if you if you care about greasy food, you would not be eating pizza ever. <laughs> a little greasy for yeah, that's because it's it's like a thicker like ingredient -y stuffy, so there's more cheese, which means more oil and grease, obviously. But yeah, I mean it is a little it can be a bit much. I, I agree. I mean if you're a little sensitive to that kind of stuff, but I mean it, that's just flavor, man. That's just flavor. Waffles with 33 months. Thank you for 33 months of the Twitch prep. Thank you. You called the gameplay counselors and asked them what is the most silliest thing he heard. A caller tells them about this game and it was said they were level 99. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's impossible to get to level 9 and the max maximum level is 30 from my memory anyway. Oh, baby, an excellent move. Not a critical hit, just an excellent move. They add oil to the pan. Yeah, I mean, you know, that, that's all part of like cooking it to be more soft and flavorful and everything. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I don't mind grease because grease usually carries all the flavor, you know? I'm in danger, smile. You know what I need? I need that short sword. I have enough money for it now. That's what I need. I need that short sword. Let's go back. Yeah, yeah, it is super tasty, yeah. But I mean, it's gonna make you feel a little sick because of all of it. I, I mean, I agree. And people that are a little bit more sensitive to excess grease can definitely have issue with it. That's right, you run away. You run away, coward. Under die with the five bones. Thank you very much. We'll just rest while we're here. Do I have enough? Yeah. Um, plus I get to sell the club. Oh, it's 180. F. I thought it was 160. That's fine, we'll just fight Drakkies and stuff. It's not that much more. I, li I like how I've been playing this game for an hour and a half, and I've done exactly one cave that had zero random encounters in it, and just told me where I need to go, and that's it. Because <laughs> I need to grind just so I can advance. Yep, sounds like everything that I remember about the first Dragon Quest game is grind for a lot and then you can play the game. Nowadays, the game would just start you out at the level that you need to, like, advance 
you know, casually. Like, FF7 starts you off at level 6. Which I thought was really cool when I first played the game, when when, when you start off at level 6, you know, you, it feels like, hey, I'm not just some random scrub, I'm somebody that has experience, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a warrior, you know? And I always appreciated that. Although I could potentially grind a little bit more for gold and get something even better. I want to go to this town up here and see what the weapon was. There was like a hand axe, but I'm not sure if, if, if an axe is that. Oh god. I'm not sure if an axe is a good idea. Like, I don't know if weapon types matter in this game or not. Don't answer the question, by the way. Like, I don't know if an axe is actually, like, low accuracy. Because Final Fantasy has made me wary of axes. Axes always have, like, high damage range or low hit chance. And so every time I look at an axe, I'm just like, Monka, Monka Axe. Monka Axe. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I don't know if the axe is actually a, a weapon worth picking up or not. And it was, like, 500. Which, if I just go to an inn here and, um... Uh go down and get 10 gold per, it's not too long. We have mentioned Akira Toriyama, actually, a couple times. Dun, 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 dun. It's just the hand axe, 560. Although, if I get a copper sword, then it'd be a much easier time, like, grinding for a hand axe, you know? I don't know. I might be able to advance. Let's just get the- let's just get the copper sword. Alright, how much power do I have now? Still- t oh, attack power, 22. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so it's 10. I don't know what the club was. I doubt this game is, is complicated enough to have, like, a higher mischance on weapons. Certain weapon types, and oh god, I'm going to die. I don't feel like I'm doing that much more damage, which is kind of disappointing. Well, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh god. I'm dead. I'm right here. I have to use my herb. Which really sucks because that's like 24 gold. The freaking two step encounters while I'm trying to get to save D. I really didn't want to have to go to an inn here because it's like 24 gold. I was trying to make it back to the first town, but uh... Oh, here we go. 25 gold. Rip. That was a huge, huge loss. But we didn't die, so that's more important. Fiesta RNG continues, right? No kidding. <laughs> I mean, uh, DQ and FF don't, both do really good in uh, bringing back, you know, the, the the monsters that make the series. You know, like Slimes and Drakies and uh, Tonberries and, you know, whatever from each respective series. And I, I appreciate that. Maybe it's not the Fiesta, maybe it's me. Of course it is. I 100% will will uh, absolutely agree that it is 100% me. I have really shitty R game RNG. It's just a known fact. <laughs> like, okay, so I did like a gladiator grind in World of Warcraft uh, during a few seasons. And I used to tell people, I was like, listen, listen, I have really bad luck. So just keep that in mind before we go forward and like, oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. And then and then they play with me and it's like, may stun, may stun, may stun, may stun, may stun, may stun, interrupt, may stun, may stun. And I'm just like, see? And they're like, okay, yeah, you're, you're right. You got really shitty RNG. 
<laughs> you, you are cursed. You are cursed. Do I want to know what the club power is? Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm guessing six is what I'm guessing. Plus four, so it was a, pl a plus six difference. It just doesn't seem like it's doing that much more. Granted, dis despite that awful RNG, we went like like 50 and two or something like that. We only lost two matches and, and it was an easy gladiator, so at least it, w at least it was easy. <laughs> 12 experience points, nice. All right, let's get that level, let's get that bread, and then we'll advance again. You played your first ever D&D the other day, your nat one was your first roll ever, F. Did, does the, did the DM have high punishment for nat ones? I really like the way Finn does it. Phenomenon, or Finn. Uh, who we play D and D with every uh, Saturday is a really, 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 really fair DM, and uh, nat ones are not devastating. It's just a normal miss. Like sometimes bad things can happen, but it's like you don't break your weapon five percent of the time with a nat one. You know, it's just like okay, you miss. You know, you don't trip and then completely ruin your ability to do anything. It's just, it just, it doesn't feel so like stressful like oh if I roll a one I guess I just die and have to make a new character you know I mean it just depends on how punishing the critical miss is if it's like you lose your weapon or you break your weapon or you trip or you become prone or like you get an attack of opportunity it can completely sway the course of battle so so much and I'm just not a fan of how drastic it can, it can change things, you know? And that's like a, like a one is a 5% chance, you know? That's really common. One out of 20 rolls is gonna, is gonna put you in the, in the freaking hospital, you know? <laughs> hey, what's up, Kamen Rider? I noticed you. Yeah, dude, I, I'm super stoked by that. Those, those, those pocket stations are awesome, man. I, it's such a unique thing, and and you can use that to play the Chocobo World on FF8. So I'm I'm actually pretty excited to to give that a go. And you said batteries with it too. Like how how boss is that, man? Thank you. That was really cool. We opened it on stream earlier in the stream, so if you if you want to, you can go back in the vod and check that out. I always if anybody sends me anything to the PO box, I always open it on stream on Thursdays. So no matter when I get it, I, I wait and sit on it until uh, Thursday, and then at the beginning of the stream, I'll open it. Thank you. That was really cool. I'm really excited to see what I can do with that thing. Should be level any time. It's like 13 XP to level up. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. By the way, I will be returning to D&D &D this Saturday. This Saturday, I will be returning to D&D. &D. Power by four, dude. Nice, not very much HP though, and only a, th only a few MPs. Power by four, dude. That's awesome. That's like 30% increase in power. You don't need HP. You don't need HP to stay alive or anything. Yeah, yeah, so let's, just so you guys know, I've been doing private sessions with Phenomenon because if you guys have been keeping up with the, the 22, oh man, nice. If you guys have been keeping up with the campaign, um, then you know that Brad got swooped up by a dragon and taken away. And uh, I've been doing private campaigns with Finn like once every week during this time, maybe two weeks. And I, I, all I gotta tell you, is holy crap like the the stuff that we've that i've done and, and everything oh my gosh Ho just holy crap you guys gotta be there on saturday uh finn can tell you what the rules are for this campaign i want to say it's um pathfinder in a forgotten realms 